Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm at the gym, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my workout on, and of course, I'm gonna bring y'all with me. Um, yeah, I'm trying to stay consistent on my workouts. Through the week, it's really hard for me to do my workouts because I have to, my son has to be at school really, really early for his workouts, so <laughs> I have to make sure that uh, on the weekends that I'm doing what I need to do and catching up on my workouts and stuff. So, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, Sunday fun day, which you already know, I don't do fun day, but I do relax and get, you know what I'm saying, get my, get my time in. So, um, I don't really have nothing planned today. I'm going to try to get my workout in and then go to church. So hopefully I'll be able to do that in enough time to get back home and get ready and go to church. If not, I'll have to watch church online. And, um, yeah, I'll probably do dinner, you know, go and try to find something that we're going to be eating for dinner, for, for Sunday dinner. Uh, I'm thinking about fried fish. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds good, don't it? Yeah, fried fish with some sweet potato fries and salad. <laughs> Baby, I'm already thinking about eating. See what I'm saying? That's the big bag. <laughs> That's the big bag. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, put all my stuff on and then we're going to go on in and uh, get our little workout on. It is like 30 something degrees outside. Let me see. Let me see y'all. Yeah, it's twenty. It's twenty nine degrees outside. Twenty nine degrees. This is what you call dedication. Okay. Yeah. This is what you call dedication. So I'm gonna just sit y'all right here. I got on. Um, I showed y'all. I showed y'all a couple of maybe last week's vlog. I showed y'all these tights that I got from the TikTok shop. And I already had this little workout top, so yeah. But yeah, I don't know if I want to uh, put my sweat belt over this or under it. Cause I already know this shirt is gonna be rising up. So hold on, let me put this on real quick. I'm gonna uh, turn y'all this way. Y'all know how YouTube is. They don't want to show too much. Don't show too much skin, baby. Don't show too much skin. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. So I'll do it like that. I'll put it in, in the inside. Yeah, I like them. I think these were like three dollars on um, uh, TikTok. TikTok shop. These tights were like three dollars. Sports leggings, workout leggings, whatever you want to call them. But uh, yeah, this looks good. So yeah. I think the, uh, like I said, I think the tights, the workout leggings were like three bucks. I spent like maybe $45 and I got like, I want to say maybe 10 items. Yeah, so that's not bad. Yeah, because when you first sign up, they give you like a 25% of, man, let me, I'll tell y'all in a little bit. Let me go get my workout on. Okay, I'll see y'all in a minute. <sighs> Procrastination. Bye, bye y'all.
Hey y'all, uh, we done. I just wanted to let y'all know we were done and um yeah so i did 40 minutes on the treadmill for cardio and i did one leg machine i did uh three sets of 12 and i think it was on 90 or 110 I, I, I don't know but anyway we're done okay i'm glad too because i got enough time um let me do y'all like that I have enough time to go home, change, try to do something to my hair, and go to church. So that's good. Bye, guys. Okay, y'all. Um, we getting ready to go to church. I'm already ready. I just put a little um, concealer, some eyeliner, some mascara, and yeah, whatever was left on my brush from yesterday, I just took it in. Yeah. So, uh, we're getting ready to leave out. I just wanted to let y'all know I was able to make it to church. I'm so happy about that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'll see y'all in a little bit. And I might let y'all hear some of the word. It just, you know, I might let y'all, if I'm able to do it, I'll let y'all hear what he spoke on, okay? If not, I'll put it across the screen right here, okay? All right. Love you guys. Bye. Y'all, I'm feeling so good, so blessed, and I just wanted to open up the vlog to let my little sis and my little brother know it's going to be all right. Yes, good morning. Let me cut this light on. Behind us. I'm hungry. <laughs> Y'all probably say, what's new? I'm hungry. I didn't came in the kitchen to give me something to eat, and I was like, let me uh open up the vlog. And talk to, to my people. Yeah, I um I came in the kitchen to get me something and I was like, you didn't even come back from yesterday. I open up this vlog and let the people know what's going on. So uh yeah, I'm hungry, so I said I'm going I'm going to continue because I did a mukbang day before yesterday. It's not gonna be posted until tomorrow. Today is Monday, by the way. Happy Monday. And uh, I was eating good, y'all. I had the pretzel bacon pub. I could never remember the name when I was doing the mukbang. So I was just like, let me, I might have to write it out on them when I get ready to edit it. Because, you know, doing mukbangs, you really don't have to edit a lot. You don't have to really do a lot of editing. So it's not going to take too long for me to edit and post it for you guys. So you'll be seeing it tomorrow. I might go ahead and put the, um, 
yeah, I'll put the picture of it right here because this vlog that I'm vlogging right now, because we always we always vlog ahead of time. So you'll see this one, this vlog next week. So make sure you go this mukbang right here, this picture. Go show that go show us some love, baby. Go go show us some love. Because I haven't posted in a long time for a mukbang, okay? But anyway, like I said, I hope y'all doing good. I want to come on here and be so respectful to you guys. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing great. With that being said, I'm hungry. So I want to keep it going with me eating what I'm supposed to be eating through the week. <laughs> Outside of me doing my mukbangs. Yeah, I'm giving myself I'm giving myself grace on my mukbangs, okay? So outside of me eating and doing the things I do for my mukbangs, y'all, I want to be able to make sure that I am eating right, I'm exercising, doing the things that need to be done. So a lot of my, my issues is I like to snack, and I think I told you guys that. I'm a big snacker. Uh, whatever it is you got for me to snack on, sis, I'm going to go to the store and get it and try it out and keep trying it out. <laughs> So, I'm going to just eat on me a yogurt today, this morning. Let's see if I can. I went to the store the other day and I got the uh, Chobani. I got uh, mixed berry. I had one more and then I got the watermelon. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to eat on this. And I also got some protein bars in there that I probably will snack on too. Uh, let me show y'all them because I do. I want to also make sure that I'm showing y'all what I'm eating on just in case, you know, it's relatable to you and you want to eat on it too. Hold on. Give me one more. Give me one more set. It's kind of cold up in the living room area because I'm, you, you know, I'm back in my office. So when I walk up here, I'm just like, damn. Whew. But anyway, these are the protein bars. I don't think I showed y'all these. Um, I got them from Walmart. And they're okay. I had one yesterday on the way to church. And it's okay. It's a mouthful. Uh, if you know about protein bars, then you know. Yeah, so I wanted to show y'all these two. These these have these have 10 grams of proteins per serving. It's peanut butter and dark chocolate. Okay? Yeah, and I also want to come in and talk to you guys about church yesterday. This hair keeps getting in my face. Stop it. Because these eyes... These eyes, yeah. Um, I want to come back too and tell y'all we had a great, I had to do my little cheerleader. We had a great service at church yesterday. Pastor did what he was supposed to do. Pastor, and it's the one that I, I keep telling y'all about. I love my pastor, don't get me wrong, but this, this pastor, he's really young and he always seemed to simplify, you know, what he's talking about. And I love both pastors, so I ain't trying to show love toward one and love not the other one. But I do have to say that when this pastor preach, y'all, when he preach, he be preaching. And so what he spoke on, let me tell y'all, because you know I always like to tell y'all what what they speak on. Okay, so he spoke in chapter 15 of Matthew, verses 22 through 28. And he talked about the, the, the woman from Canaan. Yeah, he talked about the lady from Canaan that was, you know, coming to get help, prayer for her daughter. He spoke on that. And y'all, it was just a sign. It, it just seemed like it's, God always give us signs. He always, he's very intentional about giving us signs and, you know, and recognition and recognizing and all of that. And yeah, we have free choice to do what we want to do. Woo, woo, woo. We really do. We really do. But yesterday, because I've, I've been telling y'all about YouTube and how, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? About me slowing down and, you know, not um, being persistent. As much as I, you know, I was in the beginning. So once I had, I heard the word, I, I'm in agreeable. I'm in agreement of my choices and what I've said to y'all. I'm in agreement with that about, you know, not being so persistent and not being so uh, checking my, checking my YouTube all the time to see if if anything didn't change and woo woo and not, not being so, uh, I don't want to be so, um, I don't know the word. I don't know the words that I want to say when I say when it comes to YouTube and how I don't want to be uh, that person that is constantly checking my emails, constantly checking YouTube, all that kind of stuff. Because when it's for me, it's going to be for me. 
okay just like when it's for you it's gonna be for you okay whatever somebody else has that's for them okay and I'm getting back to doing what's for me okay it's time to get back to it baby it's it's time to get back to it after hearing the word yesterday asking God for what you want you that's what you're supposed to do you are supposed to ask God for what you want little sis and little brother okay and whatever is meant for you he's gonna provide it to you it may take a while this 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 may take a while but when it's for you it's gonna be for you okay but yeah I took the word and I ran with it I ran with it. Yeah, I ran with it. I, it was meant for me. I needed to hear it. Okay? I needed to hear it. So, if you are out there, and I say this all the time to y'all. If you are out there and you feel like you just don't know, it's time for you, okay, to know that God got you. Jesus, he got you, baby. Yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to... Um, get into my yogurt and my protein bar and later on today i'm thinking about going ahead and putting my pictures up I, I, it's been taking me a while to do it y'all because i'm trying to be make sure that i'm putting the stuff where i want it to be because at the end of the day i'm putting nails and stuff all in my walls and then i'm switching taking the stuff all down so i gotta make sure this is where i want it this is one of the pictures right here that i got from where I get this from? Hobby Lobby. I got two in this. Right here is two of them. So I want to take this picture and put it over here. Over here where I got my other black and white pictures. If you are new. I don't really want to show y'all that area. Because that's where we keep all our shoes when we go outside. But yeah. Like right here. This is where I want to put, out, put these pictures. And I'm going to take these pictures. Let me get back in the light. I'm going to take those pictures from over there and put them against this wall. Because I took that, um, remember it used to be a clock right here. I t it, it broke, so I took it down. It wasn't even working. So, yeah. Uh, hold on right quick, because I think I got company. Yeah, I do. Hold on right quick, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back. Sorry about that. I don't even know where we was at okay the pictures yeah so yeah um i'm gonna hang these up probably sometime this week and also i want to go to try to get my nails uh repainted again and yeah we got some things we're gonna we're gonna get into but yeah i just wanted to open up the vlog let y'all know what was going on what happened yesterday we did go out to eat too and i'll put the clip in of that we went out to eat it was really good i got so full i couldn't even come back on here I couldn't. I couldn't come back on to talk to you guys because I was full of the tick. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll go and get back to work. Yeah. I just wanted to come on and let y'all know what was going on. And I'll see y'all in a little bit, okay? Bye, you guys. What's up y'all? Good morning. I wanted to try these out with you guys. The Breely Aloe Vera Eye Mask. <sighs> I said it right. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing good. Um, I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm feeling good. Feeling real good this morning. But yeah, remember we showed y'all these? Well, I showed y'all these in my little TikTok haul. So I wanted to try them out with y'all just to show y'all what it's giving, if it's giving, if it's gave. Y'all know. So they give you a little thing to get them, but child, y'all know how we do over here. 
this is it right here and I think I always be putting mine on wrong I always is do you do it this way but I guess it really don't matter do you put them on like this or the other way let me see Cha, help me, help me. Or do you do it like that? Honestly, I guess it really don't matter how you put it on. Can y'all see it? Can you see it? It feel good, y'all. It feel really moisturized. And remember I told y'all I looked these up before I actually bought it. And they sell them on Amazon. It looks like the light came in real good. But they sell these on Amazon under this name brand. Um, I think they cost like 15 bucks, something like that. So yeah. But I think I'm putting them on wrong. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm I think the little part, this part, goes the other way, but I'm not for sure. We'll we'll figure it out, but I I guess it really don't matter as long as I get it up under the eye. And I'm definitely trying to make sure I don't put it close to my eyeballs, cause y'all know I get on here, my eye be real red, very sensitive. But yeah, I just wanted to open up the video and let y'all know what I was up to this morning. I really don't have a lot. I really don't have a lot to do today except for washing clothes, which is the norm. I um need to wash clothes, fold those clothes whenever they get done. I think for me, when it comes to washing, that's the part I don't like. It's the folding of the clothes. I can wash probably all day long, but when it comes to folding, it seems like especially socks. Hit me up in the comments. I think socks is my, I just don't like to find the socks and put the socks together. and Because it's, it's a lot of socks in this family, y'all. It's a lot. Y'all know my son, he plays sports and he have a lot of socks. I'm talking about a lot. Okay? So it's like I'm trying to find the ones that match and ooh, ooh, and it's a lot. So yeah, so I got to finish washing, folding clothes. I already did my uh, kitchen. I washed and everything. But I probably will get in there and mop again. Just to refresh, you know, my home. Y'all already know I like to refresh. I'm not going to do deep cleanings. I, I really do like a real, real deep clean. Like maybe one, probably once a month I do a deep clean. Where I'm cleaning my tubs. I'm cleaning. I'm talking about taking everything off the counters. Just deep cleaning. But I do refresh. Where I'll come in, make sure, you know, do the toilets, do what I need to do. That's what I call refresh. Uh, sweeping in here, like in my bathroom and stuff. And cleaning, you know, just cleaning and refreshing. And y'all, I saw the cutest chairs on Amazon that I want to buy. They're like $200 and probably $50 for four. Because I am into rattan. I think that's I think I told y'all this before. I love that rattan look. It's kind of like um uh boho, you know, that ret the rattan. I, I'm probably saying it wrong, but the chairs are so so cute. I think I'm going to put an image of them right here or I might keep it to myself. I don't know. But and then show y'all once I get them. But I'm going to get four of them because y'all the chairs that I have is still that country that country look that I had going on when I first started uh, trying to you know just do different things in my kitchen. Yeah. I even had words where you know you have the words and this is for this over here. You know like when it's a kitchen. <laughs> And I'm trying to get out of there, y'all. I'm trying to get out of there. I want to uh, refresh. I, I told y'all. But I'm going to shop my home first. And then, you know, start buying little stuff here and there. It's not going to be no, yeah. So, I did find me some chairs that I want to put in my kitchen. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, let's see. Back to today. So, um, I'm going to finish washing. We uh, fold in the clothes. 
probably uh, mopping my kitchen and stuff like that. I probably I'm not gonna bring y'all in. I'm just talking. And then um, I haven't picked up the camera, you guys. Uh, we had some family issues going on. I went and see. I went and visited my brother, and there's some family stuff that me and him needed to talk about. And so we stopped at this restaurant. I think I I recorded it. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, go in my husband went in but we placed an order for my son because he loves this restaurant it's called um what is it called hook and reel it's called hook and reel they have seafood balls and all that kind of stuff and y'all already know i'm allergic to a lot of seafood so i wasn't able to eat the stuff so i stopped and got something else but i did this is the video i'm gonna put the clip right here uh what the food was looking like and all that kind of stuff i know a lot of people love the seafood balls but i can't eat seafood balls i love to see people eat it on the mug veins which melissa says she eats it she eats the seafood ball all the time little nicole see what's up sis how you doing but yeah i can't eat them because i'm allergic to it y'all Wonk, wonk, wonk. But anyway, me and my brother, we uh chilled out, uh spent some time together, and yeah, we had some family stuff that we needed to discuss. So I didn't bring y'all in. I haven't showed y'all. I haven't picked up the camera in a couple of days because of that. So uh, and of course I wasn't gonna bring y'all in because private time for family is private time for family. Y'all already know this, but yeah. So I spent some time with my brother the last couple of, uh, maybe two or three days ago. And then, uh, I, uh, what else did we do? Last night, we I went and got, um, what was it, what is it called, y'all? Help me out. Last night, I went and got Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I went and got Chipotle. I showed y'all me in the restaurant or whatnot, but I got the food to go and came home and ate some of that. And that's what I'm going to eat for lunch today, y'all. Yeah, because, you know, if you can eat a whole Chipotle bowl, sis, little brother, you got it going on right now. You got the belly of all bellies if you can eat a whole Chipotle. I can't eat a whole one, y'all. I probably eat a third and then save it and then or give or share it. You know what I'm saying? Those bowls be so big, but that's what I'm gonna eat for lunch today. I'm gonna eat my Chipotle bowl and let this sit for like 15 minutes. The directions on this is real small, but normally for these IMAS, it's 15 minutes, and so I'm gonna I'll bring y'all back in like maybe next week sometime I'll let y'all know how they're working and stuff like that. I ain't gonna, ain't no use of me letting y'all know today, but because, hell, I just started it. But I will let y'all know that it is moisturizing. It really, really is. And, yeah, if they work, that's great. We can get them off the ticket to talk for a cheaper price. Yeah. And let me know if I got these on right. <laughs> can y'all see them? Because I know the light is kind of crazy. I got the little part right here going this way. And the big part coming up under it. So I don't know if that's right or not. So yeah. So yeah, that's my plan. And then probably tomorrow or Monday next week, I'll go get my nails done. Because I'm not ready to get them done right now. I don't rush to get my nails done all the time. It's, it is time for me to get them done. But it, it don't bother me with them looking like this. It doesn't bother me. It's not really really bad but they do need to yeah and what i learned y'all is when that gel if you do gel and it starts to lift up if it's starting to lift up get you some clear gel polish and just paint over it paint over it sis like they're doing the uh like they're doing your nails just paint over it get you some clear let me uh let me see swallow my saliva because I was really talking but yeah get you some uh clear nail polish and just paint over the gel polish that's lifting up and seal it in again and maybe they'll last a little bit longer because that's what I did because y'all know when you get your nails done and they start to lift up it get caught on different stuff like your hair or your clothes or something like that yeah that means it's time to get them done but if you can you know what I'm saying? If you can, you know, you know, try to make them last a little bit longer. Y'all know how we do over here. Just get that clear gel polish and put it on there. Just put it on there. Yeah, so um, anyway, I'm going to get back in here. Y'all already know I'm at work. So I'm going to get back in here. When I get ready to uh, eat my lunch, I'll bring y'all in and show y'all what the Chipotle is looking like. Because, baby, when I said it was good last night, and y'all know, 
I have not had no Chipotle. Y'all know I have not had no Chipotle because when I do a Chipotle bowl, I normally do a mukbang. I didn't do one last night because I was really tired. What did I do yesterday? I worked. So I wasn't feeling it. So yeah, yeah. But I'll show y'all what it's looking like and I'm going to go ahead and get back in here and get back to work. But I just want to show y'all what the eye mask was looking like so y'all can kind of see if y'all want to, you know, get y'all some or not. But yeah, I'm going to let these stay on for about 15 minutes and I'll see y'all at lunchtime, okay? Cool? Cool. All right. Bye, you guys. Let's get in the light. That way y'all can kind of see them. Yeah, if I got them all wrong, let me know. Because <laughs> you little sis. Yeah. Baby. All right, let me go. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Look what I'm watching. Yeah, I'm caught up in the episodes. I'm caught up, y'all. I can't stop watching it. I started not to do this. I started not to do the Risa Tisa story because it's like when it's done, when it's all done, I'm going to be like wanting something. I'm going to be needing something. It's like a whole series. And I'm like, she only did 50. So I'm on number 13. And y'all... When I say pathological, yeah, that part. But anyway, it's lunchtime, and I said, let me give me something to eat. Let me show y'all what I'm going to be eating on. Hold on real quick. Hit me up in the comments and let me know about this. Have y'all been watching it? We got to discuss it. Yeah, I don't want to do a mukbang on it or anything because everybody is talking about it. I know this is the great time to be getting jumping on the band bandwagon with uh what do they call it? It's some kind of content that they call it when but I did that one time. I did that one time when the man was like uh and in and, and my video went viral. It went viral. Yeah, it, it went viral for me. I don't know how how viral it is for y'all, but for me, it went viral and then guess what? I had to take the video down because YouTube was saying something about uh, copyright strikes or something like that. So I had to take it down. So this, I don't want to be posting it. And then they be telling me, no, you can't do that. So, but if y'all been watching it, please let me know. Let me know. We can talk about it in the comments. Yeah. But yeah, this is the um, Chipotle bowl, y'all, that I had left over from yesterday and I said I was just gonna heat this up and this is what we're gonna be eating for lunch today and I'm starving all I had was a yogurt uh let me show you the brand yogurt that I had that I had this morning because I want to show you guys to let y'all know just in case you know you're looking for something you know kind of the way I'm living my life as far as like I work from home and I'm trying my best to eat good things and i know i'm not saying this bowl right here but this is lunch i'm talking about like for breakfast i'm not snacking and stuff like that and then after lunch i can find different things like fruit and stuff that i can eat on you know that type of vibe hold on let me show y'all so the chabani yogurt chabani i hope i'm saying that right this one right here y'all the mixed berry was delicious okay it was good. It was good. It was good. So I'm going to start buying this one right here. And then remember the other day I tried the watermelon one and it was good. It was delicious. So now I have, a, I have some, I have yogurt y'all. I have been trying to find me a good yogurt that wasn't real, real tart. And that tasted good. So just because I'm trying to eat healthy don't mean that my stuff got to be nasty. No, so uh, <laughs> I ain't got a lick of sense. Y'all, I'm gonna heat my stuff up and then we're gonna get into this. Yeah, we're gonna start watching her a little bit. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit because I don't need none of these sites or internet or nothing coming for me on my uh my YouTube channel. I'm talking about copyrights and you didn't follow you, you show too much. No, I so basically, we got into a stand, a standoff. Um, and if you're a real estate agent or you work in real in um, real estate, I would love to know your thoughts on this. I had asked people in my personal life, like, have you ever heard of this before? And I've had plenty of people who said I signed with the ex-husband. I would not show my bank statements until they 
um, accepted the offer. And then I had other people who were like, I wouldn't accept an all-cash offer unless I verified that the person can pay. Stating that you're putting an offer in at full asking price. This was the same thing that the realtor was saying. He was like, but you just signed an offer. So what's the problem? Like, you want them to accept the offer and then you'll show everyone the proof of funds? And because we were already about 20 to 25 houses deep by this point. We had already put in two other offers. They fell through. And now here we are with this house. And once again, it fell through. Okay, so um, good news and bad news. Number one, this is part 14 of Who the Fuck Did I Mean? Bad news, this is gonna be the last post for the night. And the reason why, good news, um, tomorrow's my birthday. So I'm just gonna make this video, post it, and then I will pick back up probably Friday because honestly, I truly want um, to enjoy my birthday tomorrow. I just, I just want to enjoy my birthday. Um, for yeah. As Legion was getting ready to go to work. So that was the perfect. I hope I don't got no food in my mouth, in my teeth, or none of that. If I do, hold on, hold on, baby. When I tell you, she should have made this into a book, which I think, cause I've only owned 17. And the reason why I say that is because when she did her 16, when me when I cut the camera off, I I don't want to show too much because like I said, some of y'all might not have already saw this. And then again, I don't want YouTube to be trying to come up over her over her and try to say that, you know, I can't show this stuff because of copyright issues. But 16 sis is where she really tells you it's called interlude. And that's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? This is bookish. You know what I'm saying? Not blackish, but bookish. Interlude? It's where people have been getting in her comments, you know, asking why she did this. And sis, instead of saying thank you, instead of saying thank you to the little sis, she has had people say, you know, just different things. This is the moment where black, white green yellow whatever men women whatever future women future men should say thank you thank you little sis thank you little sis because i hope i hope that somebody that's kind of maybe seeing this in the future can take heed a lot of people don't just like she said she said God showed her all the signs. Like in the beginning when she first hit that flat tire. Yeah. She said God showed her all the signs, but she just wanted to be married. And she wanted it to be her time. This is my time to be in love and to be happy and to have a family. That you be wanted, you be hungry for it so bad that you ignore all the things that God is showing you. Man, it's deep. It's real deep. And I don't care what nobody say. We have all been in a position where we want it so bad that we ignore all the signs. We have all experienced that. If you haven't experienced that, y'all, I don't even know what, 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 what earth you are living on, okay? Because you damn sure ain't living on earth. I don't know where you living at. But if you have never experienced where you knew, you knew it was wrong. You knew that this was not right for you, but you still was accepting. And you wanted it so bad that you just allowed it to happen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We all didn't been through it, y'all. We all didn't been through it. So for the little sis to get on a worldwide web and tell her story, I thank her because there's so many of us that are afraid to speak up. It's kind of like when you're in an abusive relationship, you are afraid to speak up. You are afraid to speak out because you feel like people are going to look at you some type of way. Man, look. Let them look. Because at least you had the courage to open up yourself 
and tell the world or tell a police officer or tell your church member or tell your sis that this is what is going on in my life. Yeah. Yeah, and I know I've been talking. I've been talking a lot on this part right here. I've been saying something for like four minutes, but I just wanted to open up the video back up. And this is where we can all talk about stuff like this, y'all. We are women, and some of us that's watching are men. But these these are the conversations we need to be having with our with our kids. These are the conversations we need to be having with our future people. You know what I'm saying? You know, just like we talk to them about other stuff. This is stuff that you definitely need to be talking about with family members you know what i'm saying that's that can be vulnerable you know what i'm saying when i say vulnerable that's easy approachable vulnerable a man or a woman sees what you're trying to do in your life and they come in swoop in and trying to be prince charming or you know trying to be the cinderella in the story or whatever and try to you know cap to save a day you know whatever and try to make you feel like i got you on every aspect of everything and they really don't they really don't. And if I'm fading out, I apologize because my camera probably trying to focus on this lamp back here. But yes, child. Hold on, because it's time for me to go back. This my alarm. My alarm is trying to try it's time for me to go back to work. If it's time for me to go back to work, that's my alarm going off. But I just wanted to open it back up just to let y'all know that I'm on I'm on 17 now. And before 17, she did like a little interlude and, and let us in on, you know, why she posted it. And I'm glad she did because this is kind of like, you know, when you were in high school and your, uh, what teacher was that? It was something with a teacher and they would have you put different things and different items of value or that meant something in a, you would dig, you would dig up and put it in, in a box. And I, what is it called? A time capsule. And this is the kind of stuff that we need. This is kind of like a time capsule. You know what I'm saying? For the next generation. Or a generation right now that we're living. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of like a time capsule for them. Where they can they can see something like this and be like, I don't know if she's ever going to take it down. Which, if she takes it down, I'm pretty sure everybody else has saved it. But this is kind of like a time capsule moment. For me. It, I mean, seriously. I don't know how y'all see it, but it's kind of like a time capsule moment where... You know, future human beings. You know what I'm saying? And not only her. That's someone that's vulnerable and just wanted to be, this is my time. But even for people that know that they are doing this to somebody else. Maybe they'll be able to see this and be like, man, I can't, I can't be hurting nobody like that. Maybe they'll have a conscience. You know what I'm saying? Of I, I don't want to. I don't never want to do a woman like that, or I don't never want to do a man like that, or a human being like that. I never want to be in a relationship where I'm taking advantage of somebody and leading them on to make them feel like, you know, I love them. Cause to me, that is not love. That's just my opinion, y'all. But anyway, it's time for me to get back in here. <laughs> it's time for me to go back in there. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye, y'all. <laughs> y'all. Oh, my gosh. I finally got up out of bed. Okay. This is the plan. <laughs> she looking all kind of rough. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is the plan. We are on our way to the store. I got to get stuff. We're going to have barbecue tonight. So, I got to get some barbecue sauce. We're not making the barbecue. We're going to pick it up from this restaurant. and But we need barbecue sauce because we don't like their barbecue sauce. And, uh, yeah, pick up some other things from the store. And I'll see y'all maybe in the store. If not, I'll see y'all when I get back here. Because, baby. We in the car. It is 85 degrees outside. It's 85 degrees outside. So uh, we're going to run our two little errands, run to the store, get the stuff for a barbecue tonight, and I got to run and go get the barbecue. As you can see, I'm not in the mood to go be out in them streets, but I'm going to go ahead and do it because. I got a taste for barbecue today y'all I haven't had none in a really really long time so I'm gonna go get some ribs some um let me turn it down so I don't seem like I'm screaming 
that's my phone right there y'all i'm gonna go get some ribs some brisket some corn and uh i might get some, i might get um i might get some peach cobbler too yeah yeah so let's come on let's go come on okay yeah that's the barbecue place that i'm going in right there it's called rudy's Yeah, we back. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Look at my head. Oh, goodness. I might have should have left my head on. When I tell y'all, y'all sister, y'all sister, she had a busy week. I don't even know if y'all can see me right now, but uh, maybe I need to leave my head on. I had a busy week, y'all. Uh, remember I told y'all I had to do some stuff with my brother, and yeah. It's, it took your sis it took your sis to a whole new level so that's my brother that's my family so we had to take care of some business let me lift y'all up a little bit yeah just a little bit can y'all see me better now it's a little crooked hold on is that better hey y'all okay so um yeah i'm looking a hot mess and y'all i just need to change my, my it's time for me to change my lace out my lace front and i'm gonna just do a quick weave uh because i got some things i'm gonna be doing this week but i wanted to show y'all the food uh so yeah i went and got the barbecue and So I did get some potato salad. I only got a single because a lot of people in this house don't like potato salad. And I got some coleslaw for my husband because a lot of people in this house don't like coleslaw. We don't like it. Okay, and I did get the corn. This is what they're famous for, y'all, their size. They uh, got the cream style corn. I forgot what they call it, but it's a cream style corn right here. And then I got two peach cobbers. Y'all already know I love the crust on the peach cobber. Yes, I can't wait to dig into that later on. But everything totaled out to be 105 bucks. I got potato salad, coleslaw, cream corn. I got two cobbers. I got uh, pork ribs. I got a pound and a half, I think, on the pork ribs. And then on the moist brisket, I got two pounds. And I'm just going to put the meat in this foil pan right here and make it look like I've been cooking all day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make it look like I've been cooking all day, y'all. Yes, sir. So, this is the... This is the brisket right here. Let me bring it up a little closer. So y'all can see it. That's what the brisket is looking like. And that's what I've been craving is a big old brisket sandwich. And then I got, I also got like onions, pickles, uh, the peppers. And then I got the ribs right here. Pork ribs. I know a lot of people not down with the pork, but baby. Ain't nothing wrong with little ribs. This is the ribs right here, y'all. These are the ribs. They look good, don't they? Yes. Sit there right there. I had somebody pull out right in front of me earlier. 
did a complete U-turn. Did a complete U-turn in front of me. On my way home. So I'm gonna just cover it. I'm gonna just cover it with some foam and put it on low. And my husband's at work, so when he gets off work, this will be good and ready for him. And I don't want to dry it out, so I'm gonna just put it on warm. And this is how everything is looking in the pan. Y'all see that? Whoo, that look good. Mm-hmm. And then let me show y'all uh, the buns that I'm gonna be using. Hold on. Here it is right here, y'all. I got the buns right here. This is what we're gonna use to do the briskets, uh, the brisket sandwiches. Yeah. The nature's own butter buns. Yep. I also got frustrated about the way people was driving, y'all. I don't know if y'all know about it. Take a little thumbnail. Can you put alcohol beverages on your thumbnail? Um, yeah, I don't know if y'all have been noticing lately that these people around here, I don't know if it's because of income tax time, and I don't want to say that and put that on somebody, because if you just drive bad, you just drive bad. But lately, I've been noticing our traffic around here has been really busy. It's been really busy, man, and I don't know if it's because of that. So, so that I could calm down and breathe i stopped and got me some mike ikes yeah this is the hard strawberry lemonade y'all i'm just kidding but these are good i'm just kidding people drive bad no matter what time it is okay whether it's payday income tax time or they just frustrated and they drive bad okay but anyway i stopped and got some of these too these are delicious your little sis been drinking these i think they like um Oh, it's 11%, 11.2% alcohol in them. That's why I be so sleepy. <laughs> Cause y'all know I'm not a big drinker, but I'm gonna drink on one of these tonight. Yeah, mm-hmm, I like them. Last uh, time I bought some, I had grape. I had the grape flavor, I really didn't care for those. And I had to go to two stores to get this one because the store I was at earlier only had the lemonade. And I, I don't, I want this one right. I want this, I want this, the strawberry. It goes down real smooth, and I don't need but one, and I'm I'm right there. And then I can get in there and watch Lifetime movies and cry. <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and close out the video right there. Uh, to, the next time y'all see me, we'll probably be getting our nails done. I'm going to put a picture right here of what I want them to look like. I'll put it right here. That way y'all can kind of see. And I don't know if I'm going to get that or not. And yeah, the face is still facing though. The face is still facing, even though she look a uh, little suspect right now. Guys, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank y'all for hanging out with me for a couple of days. I appreciate you guys. And as I always tell you guys, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload another video. And as I always say, make sure you are living your best life. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, you guys. Hey.